This netcast is brought to you by Deerswood, the Excel experts, helping you get the most out of Excel. I know waterfall charts are um, very popular because they explain, uh, particularly from a finance perspective, the change, you know, what's changed uh, over, the, uh, you know, what's causing the change over the years. So if, uh, in this example, if we had um, uh, sales of 300, uh, and this year we've got sales of 310 you know what's actually changed and what's causing the difference and we can see that uh, sales of widget a are up 20 widget b are up 30 widget c is minus 50 widget d is minus 10 and then uh, widget e is uh, up 20 so the question is how do we how do we go from something in terms of uh, a series of numbers to a waterfall chart well the way the first thing we have to do is uh, we have to create it as a, a stacked bar chart and to be able to do that we have to have two series. Uh, we have to have the first series which we're actually going to um, uh, fill in as uh, as blank and, and then the second series uh, will be the one that we, we actually use. Um, now now there's a series of formulas that you need to use to make sure you get the right values because if we start off with 300 uh, that's going to be the this bar here uh, and then we've got 20 so the next one we need to go from 300 and we need to go up 20 the next one we need to start at 320 and we need to go up 30 and then uh, and then but the next one we need to come down so if we start here at the top and then we come down 50 so that means that we need to start at uh, 300 and go up 50 from a from a graph point of view so there's some quite you know some formulas you need to get your head around here um, and I don't guarantee them but uh, they seem to work for me so once we've got those formulas let's let's um, and, and this uh, worksheet is, is on the website um, so if we just assume that uh, you can get your head around those formulas uh, we can then insert a, a stacked bar chart and if we press the alt key as we're moving this chart around then that will snap to the uh, snap to the cell uh, outline so let's just remove the series so this one here if we format the data series and uh, we have no fill and no border and clearly we don't want that red uh, so let's change the fill to solid fill as blue and uh, let's uh, have no lines we've got our waterfall chart uh, looking pretty decent the only thing that we need to do now um, to make it clear you know which ones are up and which ones are down is um, I always like to select the ones where we've got a negative uh, where we're dropping down and uh, let's put the fill on those ones as red um, because then that makes it very understandable for everybody uh, what's actually happening with the data um, it's probably a, an easier way or not an easier way there's probably a way to do that with a macro um, but uh, anyway that's uh, sufficient for now uh, and that's how you produce a waterfall chart find us at deerswood.co.uk helping you get the most out of Excel.